The stainless steel sink is an invention born of patriotism. It evolved during World War II, when sinks were often made from a copper-nickel material called monel. When that metal was needed by the war effort, stainless steel was drafted for use on the home front. And it was such a good alternative that it's still on cleanup duty. Stainless steel is lightweight and heavy duty, which makes it great for sinks. To make one, they uncoil stainless steel into a shearing machine, where large scissors slice it into pieces called blanks. They place a blank under a thousand ton press. As it descends, a punch rises from below. It stretches the blank into the rough shape of a sink bowl. Stretching the steel also transforms it on a molecular level, hardening it. Now they brush lubricant in and around the sink bowl to make it easier to stretch it again. The bowl goes under the same punch press, but this time it gets a more precise shaping. This second working of the steel hardens it a bit more. Now the sink goes under a different punch device. It cuts out a drain hole and forms a lip around it. Coolant flushes into the sink as an abrasive belt grinds the surface to give it a brushed look. They slide a sink bowl along rails into a welding machine. They butt a second sink bowl up against the first one in the welder. Inside, an electrode welds the two sinks together. Using enormous force, a roller moves across the seam to flatten it. A grinding belt behind the roller sands it down. The seam that joins the two sinks is now level and smooth. It's time to give the rim of the sink some shape. This die forms recesses along the sink's perimeter. The recesses give the sink a sleek look and collect water runoff. Another press trims the rim and gives it a bevel finish, which softens those rough edges. Now, using a punch cutter, they pierce the back rim of the sink to make holes for faucets and a soap dispenser. It's time to scratch the surface, as they grind and buff the sink to a fine finish. This is a very intensive process that takes about 25 minutes. Using a hydraulic system, they emboss the trademark in a reverse configuration onto the outside of the sink, and it shows through in readable form on the inside. They block the drains of the sink with plugs and spray a substance similar to latex paint onto the outside. This finish will muffle the sound of dishes clattering inside, and it will also protect the sink from condensation. It takes about two and a half hours to make a stainless steel sink. 
And now, it's ready to go with the flow.